Greetings all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is Saturday morning. Still, it's 11.54 and we are headed to Pleasure House Point. Now here's the thing. I got a bunch of stuff hooked up here that is gonna make all this a little bit different. The 16 to 35, it's all hooked up pretty much the same way. I have it on the Titan base on the battery and everything so that I have what? over five hours worth of battery life before I even touch the battery on the camera. But I hooked up the Comica, but I got both of them hooked up, uh, both transmitters that is, uh, one to get my voice and the other one to get the ambient sound. And I will have that on the Sure carbon fiber tripod that I'll be carrying around with me. Now, I have the A7R5, as usual, hooked up with the 200 to 600, but, I have never put the two times extender on this setup before. So I wanna see how the camera handles that. And it is a bright sunny day, so light shouldn't be an issue. It should still catch autofocus, et cetera, et cetera. I do have the ECMB1, ECMB1M, whatever, on there, just if I decide to film anything. But I also have that FX Lion Nano 1 external battery hooked up to it and plugged in. So that should get me like hours, hours of, of shooting. So I'm not worried about that. But I just wanted to have all this just to see how, uh, how I deal with it because it's a lot of gear and it's heavy. I mean, it's the same amount. I'm still carrying two cameras, but now I've got the Titan base on this and I've got the FX Lion Nano on that in addition to the two times extender, which sticks it out even further. So with the wind, it's really gonna catch, it's really gonna be heavy, ah, but I don't care because uh, it's gonna be awesome. Yesterday was technology day and the day before, because what I have done is I had to get a an external monitor for day job so that when I go to the dealerships and I have my meetings and I'm doing a presentation, I don't have to dick around waiting for them to find my email that they've ignored and go through all that rigmarole. I have this 15.6 inch monitor now that I can just face them, have it plugged into my iPad or laptop or whatever, and I can just have them follow along the presentation as I'm driving. So over Thursday and yesterday, I was setting up iPads, deleting programs off of one, downloading programs on all of them, logging into every single app and thing that I did on my new personal iPad and all that shit, just so that I you know, don't have to do it later. And now all is right in the world. So the only thing I need to do now is I need to get a new, uh, like a new messenger bag, one that's big enough to accommodate like the bigger screen and, and the bigger iPad and all the folders that I've got to bring and the, uh, the uh, tool organizer and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I've been I've been busy doing all that, and uh, in addition to grocery shopping and taking donated beds to the animal shelter and da da da. Yes, yeah, so you know, crazy monkey life all the time. All right, so yeah, let's go have some fun in Pleasure House Point. Okay, so now that I have this two times extender on here, it is. Uh, now only letting me go as low as f13 instead of f6.3 yeah i got it back to one two thousandth but it's definitely not picking things up as quickly granted that one's behind a bunch of uh grass but also it's uh it's, it's harder to, to hold it steady because of the wobbliness of this being so far out but he's in the grass so this is a pain in the butt Let's move on. Okay, so the nice thing about this, having this all hooked up the way that I have it hooked up with all these external batteries is that I am absolutely not concerned about battery life whatsoever. So I'm not continually turning the camera off and having to turn it on and all that kind of stuff. Wow, this is really heavy. My shoulder's bugging me too. Sorry for the wobbliness. I'm carrying a lot of gear and it's heavy. <laughs> and I'm trying to carry it by one of the tripod legs. So, all right, let's just stop because I'm probably making everybody motion sick. Okay, so it looks like there's a, what I'm thinking is a cormorant because I've been noticing that the cormorants go out and stand on these posts for quite a while. Yes, it is a cormorant. All right, so here's one of the problems I'm having with the gear that I'm wearing today. 
my belt is like digging into my flub because now that this is so much longer, all the weight is going down and it's pushing the belt into it. And my gut is gonna be cut up for sure. I would have thought that there would have been more birds. I jinxed myself by saying there'd be a ton of birds out today because there's just not. All right, so here we have another yellow crested night heron. And let me zoom all the way in. All right, so there we are, all the way zoomed, which technically is 600, but it's actually 1200 because I have the two times extender on it. You can see everything, can't you? Eye autofocus, banging. Very cool. All right, there's one, and there's the other. And this is really hard to hold steady. I don't know if I should be concerned or not. So here we have a cormorant again and he's just flexing oh it's so hard for me to hold this steady almost got it done almost uh -huh. okay so Guess what I'm going to say about my time at Pleasure House Point? That was fun! Okay, so I just recorded a video showing you everything that I just did today, but apparently um, it wasn't recording audio because this wasn't seated properly. So I'm going to have to do it all again. I'm going to tell you this really quickly. So what I did was I took off my tablet holder and I put the laptop holder back on there because now I'm using this 12.9 inch uh, iPad and it was too big for the tablet holder. So I had to put this on here. Um, I had to undo all of this crap, take it apart so that I could raise this up so that this part went up because I was hitting the shifter and it wasn't working. So now I lose my cup holder again, but you know, shit happens. Uh, I put everything back together, screwed this in here so that these two bars are screwed together. There's a little foam to keep it from jiggling. And then I put a light amount of duct tape around this towel that I have on here because there's some sharp edges from the screws and whatnot. Now, let me go back inside. And now we have the iPad, the 12.9 inch Pro. And I had to move this so that it holds my phone. So now my phone's in there and it's in between this holder and the steering wheel so I can still see it. And when I have my arm resting here, I can manipulate it with my finger. This is all here now. It's all where it needs to be. I also took the opportunity to run a new Apple cable because it was tearing apart. Okay, so everything is in. It's all put back together. It's all, you know, nice and tight. And of course the camera goes up here. So that's enough. I need to be done now because I want to go up and edit this video before Sven Gulli. So that's pretty much it. I knew I needed to do this and I forgot about it until I was just sitting there and I was like, oh, that's right, I was gonna go check that. And I'm glad that I did because it was so involved that this wouldn't have been like a five minute project and it's done. So that's it. We had a long day, long fun day. I went to Pleasure House Point and I got this done and I got us lunch and boba smoothies. So everybody's happy. All right, so that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.